Buckle up Canada, it is time for the most important two hours of the Canadian Premier League season. Two simultaneous matches here at Echo Field. It is Cavalry and Pacific. The only thing we know about the CPL playoffs is who's in, but we don't know where they'll finish. Cavalry have locked up top spot. Everything else is up for grabs. Bradley Camdem is added into the team, as are Shamit Shom, Jesse Daly, and Willie Accio. Will look like a 4-2-3-1 defensively. James Merriman makes five changes to his team today. A couple of big surprises. Zachary Abau starts in midfield with Manny Aparicio and Sean Young to his left and right respectively. With the gold accents, they'll work from right to left towards the north end of the stadium and Marco Carducci. Adam Jenkins and Jimmy Brennan in the One Soccer Broadcast booth with you this afternoon. Jimmy, there's something special about Decision Day when there's so much we don't know. Everything is on, including Zachariah Baus looking for his first as a member from Pacific. And see if Musi can find the number nine. It is his service, left-footed and into the box. Sent in the air and out for a corner this time. It is no small feat. Moussi just in behind of Bevan, finds a wide open Sergio Camargo, goes one more for Accio. Two of the fastest guys in the CPL squaring off right now, Accio to the middle, lining up a shot and hammering one at that. Already their fourth in just 21 minutes of action, it's Moussi once more. Moussi's ball into a dangerous area, and this time it pays off for the home side. Ali Moussi, and it's absolutely inch perfect. He's done just about everything for the club this season. Dan Klopp, you can give him four goals on the season now. Here's Shom. Over the middle block. Camargo, Camdem, and return. Sergio Camargo into the box. It's inch perfect. Ali Moussi had an opportunity. Sergio Camargo with a wonderful cross that only Moussi could get to. This is Salouf. It's a wonderful turn. Salouf keeps it to himself. Onto his right foot. Has a shot towards Carducci. So do the Cavs. Kunle Donaluk tries to slip that under the crossbar. Accio starts it off. It is Camargo, 1v1 with Young. Pokes it, here is Daly. Looking the way of Sean Young. It's Camdem who comes down with it. Bradley Camdem around Manny Aparicio, driving on his left foot, plays it across in behind of Bevan, and Moosey wheels after the loose ball. Moosey, and here's Bevan going for the overhead kick. I'm a championship match at home. His touch from Salouf. Back towards the middle. Here's Yates trying to test Carducci. Charlie Trafford now. In for Camargo, who drifts by and just about puts that header on frame. I believe that would have been three matches on the bounce with a goal for Surge. Really bright play. This attacking quartet for the Caps has been wonderful. Bradley Vliet with a simple pass for Scooter. Charges towards the byline, back for Hurd, lost it in his feet, but still got that on frame. Henri smothered by Aparicio, but the referee content with how he was challenged. This is better from Reed. One touch to control through the seam, and a nice for Reed! Carducci gets a piece and sends it wide! for the Cavs, keeps this scoreline at a gold to nil to deny Reed who had acres of space. What a run, what a ball, and what a stop.
Bevan guides it down. This is Ben Fisk. Bevan keeps himself open. Henri tried to play it to him. Here's Bevan. Meyer Bevan takes the deflection, and he scored! The last item on the checklist. Meyer Bevan moves into a share of the Golden Boot title. The Edmund Meyer stands for Midas, and Cavalry go up by two goals to nil. Jimmy, you've both played and coached, so you have a fully versed appreciation of what that means to have a player, first name on the team sheet every single week. He's going to help out on both sides of the ball. It's just got to be the best feeling to know you have that reliability. Rightfully pausing. Here's Aird. What a stop from Gazdov. Dadaluk underneath. How they work together. The players that come off the bench make a difference as well. They don't lose their stride in a match. Dadaluk deals with the first threat. Following up Mason, here's Henri. Henri for three. It has been that kind of day for the Cavs, who are cruising into the Canadian Premier League postseason as regular season winners. The highest scoring outfit, the fewest goals conceded in the league, and it has been an absolute showcase. No answers from Pacific on the day. Henri has another. Who's going to want to play Cavalry next week? It would have to be some kind of shock from Forge if that ends up being their opponents, and it will be as we get the update on the top of our screen here. 1-0 for Ottawa. Forge are going to finish second. Halifax third. And Pacific drop to fourth. Marco Carducci indeed gets his clean sheet. Meyer Bevan gets his golden boot. And the Cavs and their supporters get an afternoon to remember. It's my pleasure to present the Canadian Premier League Shield to Captain Marco Carducci.